Listen up. If I don't get the cash in one hour, your friends are dead, you hear me? Dead! Oh, oh wait, are we recording? Oh, I mean, uh, uh, hey everybody, how's it going? It's Tony Green 14 here. Welcome back to another episode of Mario Plus Rapid Sparks. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just having a little business in with that guy. You know how he is. He's a guy of business, after all. We saw in the last episode. In the last episode, we were dealing with some crime cases around here that we were solving. We also have now seen that there's a lot more to do in Palette Prime, and we're going to be cleaning all that up as we go. Um, first things first, we're going to be doing most of the Dark Mist puddles that are nearby. And I don't know in a specific order how we're going to do it, but you know, we're just going to go about and do the different Dark Mist puddles, because again, they're everywhere in this place. So I think actually it's better to start with that one, where we're going to have Rabbit Luigi and Bowser in a group pair. The Kid and the King. Alright, so let's get into it, shall we? No more! No one puts delicious desserts in danger while I'm around! I'll deal with this personally! We're not here for the pie, Rabbit Luigi. Thankfully, Bowser's itching for a lie, too. At least he'll take it seriously. So, Rabbit Luigi, if there are any salted honeycrisp fritters in there, please bring some back. Uh, you know, you can't, can't help but give him the temptation, can you? <laughs> I respect Rabbit Luigi for defending desserts. I love my dessert, and I'm guessing Bowser loves his dessert because Bowser, he's awesome. So yeah, big thing is we gotta destroy all these darkness eyes. Luckily, we got Rabbit Luigi to help us with. Now, give me a moment to set up my sparks because I'm gonna do that real quick as well. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yep. So again, there's not much to this stage. We're just going to be focusing on taking out all the eyes. And again, there's a total of how many? 18. We're... Luckily, Rabbit Luigi can get all of them pretty easily. Just look at that. Now we don't have to go down that path, period. Right, I'm thinking here we set up the Rabbit Mecha Koopas to keep that guy distracted. Or they'll all just burn him up. Oh, they one of them got the eyes at least. Oh! He got Bowser. <laughs> Alright, then that's it. Ah, now we can blow up these guys. And kaboom! Let's see, yep, that's a pretty good idea to exhaust him since he's gonna be in our path. Yeah, not much to this at all. So that magician's gonna come in and try and hurt us. Yep, shockproof. Nice try. Nice try again. Okay, we've seen this part already. We don't have to keep going. Alright, oh. Dang, even at exhaust, at high exhaust power, or at, even after being exhausted, he still did 300 damage. Ow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think what I could do. Oh, I know. Uh, we'll bounce Bowser up on, onto that building. If he can make it, that is. And there, he can support from long range. Then again, I have his spark set up more so that he can get into the fight. Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah, I think I'll just put Rabbit Luigi over here. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Oh uh, no, that's not good because those guys resist shock. So let's just hit him. And boom, all the eyes are dead. Wait, I'm gonna put on an immunity charm because I know that guy's gonna hit us from over there. And we're going to turn Bowser invisible so that he doesn't get hit again. Hey. Ow. 
All right. Let's just speed this up. Those school bus walk through each other. That was kind of weird. He's... Oh, he didn't get hit. Okay, that's good. Okay, so Rabbit Luigi. Ooh, that's pretty good. And we're gonna Toxic Quake them with ooze. Or ooze, ooze them with Toxic Quake. My gosh. Hey, Bowser, can you hit that guy from down there? Yeah, you can. Blast him. Nice. And you know what? While we're at. Nah. We can, we'll save that for a more important moment. Oh yeah, he's gonna get out of the way. He's probably gonna heal himself. Yep. That guy's gonna heal him. Oh, uh, we got portals. So those eyes are all that's left. Come on. Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, do we have a move boost? No. All right, Bowser will be fine. If he dies, it won't matter here. And let's just throw this. No fair. And yeah, we'll use the mushroom. Right, now let's speed this up. I think it's funny that Rabbit Luigi puts his hands up like, Freeze! It's kind of hard to see since he's so far away, but I, I always love that little... I love the little emotes that every character has. Mm -hmm. Yep, depleter. I'm guessing if I had Vampostra on us, uh, he'd be immune to the lifesteal, right? Or no, because it's not vampire, I'm guessing... Or maybe... Oh no. I, I think it will. But it doesn't matter here, because that's game for us. Well, not you, Rabbit Luigi, because you're a rabbit. Wait, start pretty Oh, we got a steampunk disruptor. That's really cool. More skin, and I, I'm guessing another memory about one of our characters, because typically that's what these also give. Is a memory involving the characters. Hmm. I guess not. Oh no, there it is, about Rabbit Luigi. Alright, let's see what these rabbit is doing with these conch doors. I wouldn't feel too bad for the farmer. He keeps trying to plant candy corn. <laughs> is that what he keeps doing? <laughs> and he's just letting them eat it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, it's kind to see the conch doors come back from Mario uh, 3D World. Super mushrooms? I wish we could sell them. C sales about 99, 9.99 plus tax. He's got a, a loose exclusive rights. And that squirrel's phasing out of existence trying to steal the nuts from that bag. Yeah, so everyone here is pretty chillax. Let's see, where's the next puddle? I think there was one, yeah, there was one down here that had, that with Toad, so let's go back to that one. Fungi Frenzy, so that's gotta be it. Hey, buddy, uh, what do you need help with? Magicians. Okay, so you want us to take out the Magicians. Alright. Sure thing, no problem. Alright, so we'll help him with that as we go, and I'll probably cut out those fights, because again, I'll keep the Darkness Puddle fights in, though. 
And next we'll do the Chuckfish Challenge, I think. Fungi Frenzy. Let's go help these toads out. If I remember correctly, these toad missions, once again, is a reach and area sort of mission. So we're going to be pulling out some old faithfuls for it. You know, Luigi, Rev Luigi, and Edge, likely. But definitely Luigi. Yep, over there. Oh, right, here we go. Bounce Rabbit Luigi up here if he'll make it. And he did. Alright, now let's bounce Luigi. Up we go. Fly, Luigi! Oh, make it! And... Alright, now down's here. Alright. So, I'm gonna put on Gust. And Stilly Stare. Because I know the big thing we gotta do is take care of that Magician. Which we can do with this Ooze. First, let's weaken him. And then let's Ooze him. Yeah, the Quakes are pretty good for attacking away from cover like this, if you can't get a clear shot on them. Makes them pretty helpful. Anyways, let's get on with this. Oh yeah, I forgot they can apply shields to themselves. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> Luigi said, oh no. I like that they're aware when their attacks didn't work. <laughs> That's actually really cool. It's always my favorite things in the Mario games. It's just the personality that the characters just bring to the table. Just the, amu the amount of development they get. Or like, or like when they just react to what happens is really funny. Okay, so if I saw correctly, Luigi's movement goes all the way down here. And with that, this area is done! And stuck the landing, as always. And that's game! Yep, our green team is all has done it again. And now we can talk to the toads and see what they can provide for us. Maybe some info on the area. Thanks for the save! I need to get ready for the pristine peaks hot cocoa and fondue it! Fondue Expo! Uh, so so he's gonna go back to Prisney Peaks. Phew! I guess puddles aren't just signs of drainage problems anymore! <laughs> no. Oh, they aren't. And that darkness puddle was blocking the egg. That we can use to take out the darkness eye wherever it may be. Uh, oh yeah, it's down here. Can I toss it from there? Nope. I just had to climb all the way down here just to take that out. But now that'll give us a shortcut back to the beginning. So all right, so now we have an easy way back up. Let's do this Chuck Fish Town. Hey, Victor. I knew you'd be back. Victor takes one all corners. Provided they can pay the nominal fee of, of 30 coins. Right. I can't I can't give a receipt, but count on Victor as a fair go. Also, wander off and I'll disqualify you. Ready to dash some silly fish? I am, Victor. I'm ready to be Victorian. And I'm ready to get that prize of yours. And this one, you get a really big area to work with, considering that all this little water air area you get access to. Yeah, but again, same old, same old. We just gotta get more silly fish captured. If I could just move. You don't have to climb up there if you aim it just right. You can actually throw the silly fish from down here. Which is very helpful because I'm pretty sure it'd be next to impossible to have to climb all the way up and bring them up over there. But, okay. We were in the challenge area. Did you see that? For some reason it told us to get back into it. But the silly fish are a sign that we can go into this area. I don't know what you're talking about, Victor. Anyways, I actually didn't know how many silly fish he wanted us to catch. Uh, my guess it would be nine, where, like, the last one had seven or eight. But it must be around that range. A little bit over, under ten. Dash into him. 
and fling him up. No, no, uh. I'm gonna miss this. Did I really lose this challenge? Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Quickly chuck him in, chuck him in. Did that count? Okay, I think that counted. Great galloping goannas! That was a beaut, mate! A goal finish! What did the bond or not the name of Galactic Sillyfish chucking all rookie team? No. But you can try again any time. Well, thanks, Victor. And we got the prize. A star potion. He called us fish chucking MVPs. Thanks. Yeah, considering that we learned that his challenge just gives coins, I'm gonna skip on trying it again. Right, so the next mission we can do... Uh, I believe is yeah, Evil by the Lake, which is another darkness puddle around this area that we briefly ran into during the crime situation. I should... Sh I'm gonna take this time to show off Vampastra, since we got to see him back in the previous episode, but weren't able to actually use him yet. So, turns out I proved myself wrong that there actually was a spark that did inflict vampire and not just vamp dash. So that's good to know. Oh, and this is another reach the area mission. Okay, so, yep, keeping the same setup, just gonna change mouth my sparks. And alright, here we go. I decided that- exactly, Edge. I decided to give Rabbit Luigi the Vamp Spark because with with his ability to hit multiple enemies, he can get full advantage of that of that effect. Also, I just noticed that the map we're on, we're going the opposite direction from what we did in the last one. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Right, so there's a lot of water-based enemies here. Or I mean a lot of fire-based enemies that are weak to water is what I meant. So I'm gonna use the splash spark. Along with the steely stare. I mean, you can't top it. I'm also glad that you can vault over cover so that you're not... L so that your range of movement really isn't limited as much as it looks. And out of bounds with you. And boom! And boom again! He's down. Yeah, they're not gonna get close enough. Right, so we gotta get Edge up here. And I'm gonna bounce her this way. Let's, let's set up Bam Dash to not only boost our damage, but. And boom, he's down. So yeah, let's just move Rabbit Luigi down here and then bounce Luigi off of him. Because I'm pretty sure we could just vault over to the other side. Alright, let's see. Are you gonna make it? You gonna make it? You gonna make it? You gonna make it? No, he's not gonna make it. Unless... We do this! Oh wait, but I didn't get to show off the vampire but Okay. Alright, I'll show it off in the next one. There wasn't really a- I wanted to here, but I could, couldn't find the time to. Sorry. But it was a chance for a quick victory, so I took it. Next. Okay, so next stop is right around here. Over here, we actually see the secret area in Palette Prime. Over here by Gord Lake, there is a locked door that we with the spellbound key that we need. However, I don't think we have enough uh, planet coins in order to get it yet. Because again, it requires nine planet coins and there's still plenty of missions to do so. I'm pretty sure it's not ready yet, but as soon as we go up here, I'll go back to Salesbot and check. Because up here, 
Yep, it's the lovely lady herself, Madame Bostuela's house. Or at least, very... But we saw this earlier, way off in the distance, and now we're finally here. You are... doomed. I'm sorry, just finished mixed apple sponge pudding. Too good to resist. Luck is with you! I'm usually too busy to take walk-ins at Madame Bostrella's Dimensional Drift Departures! If it's glory to combat you seek, then come, choose your party wisely, and go beyond the gateway! Ah, oh, Madame Bostrella never changed. Welcome! Also, you are doomed! Are you sure you want to a combat expedition in Dimensional Drift? I am not legally responsible for outcome! Yeah, sure thing, Madame Bostrella. We're always up for a challenge. I can't wait to see what this challenge is. Maybe we'll see some new enemies that normally in the next area we'll be able to see. I'm excited to see, actually, because I don't quite remember this one. I only... Yeah, I don't remember doing it, actually, so this may be a surprise to me. Okay, so there's pot-headed Goombas as well as Wildcats. Alright, so we're dealing with a ton of small enemies that can't be hit. Yeah, that doesn't mean we, can, we can't show off the spark. We just gotta... Give me a moment to set up my team again. Right. Team set up! Also, I noticed another spark that we actually didn't get to show off. Electrogenin. Which I do want to show off for us. So, Rabbit Rosalina is going to go farther up ahead. And I think here may be a good place, actually. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Uh, okay, Rabbit Mario is affected by that power boost. I might as well beef everyone up. So we got Starburst, let's power him up. And Electrogeddon. What it does is, it, just like Pyrogeddon or Skyrain Shock, it actually sends a bunch of lightning flying down. It also destroys cover whenever it can. However, it was not particularly useful here because, again, these guys are resistant to shock. So we're going to shut him down. And I think we'll be fine how we are. Alright, so... I'm gonna... Hmm... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see if I can lure some more guys over here. Yeah, this should work. Let's do it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's luring the sniper from down over there. Alright, nice. So we're gonna dash in this pothead Goomba. And throw him out of bounds, because that's the only way to kill him. And I think we'll just take him down here. Come on. There we go. Now, as for Luigi, I'm gonna set up his Steely Stare and imply it with Splash. He's pretty far away from most people, so I think he'll be fine exposed to cover, but... Uh, yeah, he's fine. Okay. Let's do it. Boom! Got him all the way from over there. Boom again! Now he's down. Yikes. Boom! He's down. Yeah, these guys are obnoxious. They can climb up walls by themselves. Yeah, and that smasher got to do his thing. He gets to do his thing. Oh, whoa, whoa! That was risky. I... So, gonna turn myself invisible for a bit. And I'm gonna get going. 
Come on, run! Let's bounce Luigi up here. Take aim and fire! And let's kill him. Creeps. Exactly, yeah. Those things are creepy. But now let's finally show off Vamp Attack. All weapons will he attack, deal 319 to 387 damage, and heal the hero by 30% of all the damage dealt. Yeah, so this guy can make you do a lot of damage and can heal. He's best used on guys who mul on characters who multi-hit. That way you can heal lots of health. Anyways, we're good to go now. Mm-hmm. As if you're gonna do that. Yeah, the pot-headed Goomba's coming for us. Smasher. A pretty easy fight so far. But I've been prone to jinx it, so... We haven't dealt with issues yet! <laughs> okay, can't hit any anyone with Ennui yet. Yeah, let's kill that guy. Because I think it's better that we don't get locked down with our movement, so... He's still up. Crud. Hey. No, no, no! Are you kid? Are you serious? Okay, I guess we're not gonna kill him then this turn. <sighs> okay, and just end the turn. Come on. I didn't mean to fall down there. I I meant to jump near Rabbit Rosalina. Great, and now that now that one sniper got away and now has his abilities back. So you know what? Let's just bring everyone out into the open. Come on everybody, let's have a party. Come on, get your fat butt over here. I'm just dashing all of you. Oh. Hmm. Ah, here's a good one, yeah. There, now we can hit them and don't have to worry about the wild claw chasing after us because he can't he has to go around to hit us. Yep. Plus Rabbit Mario can still move. So he's all good. Right, one guy we gotta watch out for is definitely... We gotta get that guy over there. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Wildcat. Or Wildclaw. Right. Rabbi Rosalina is not getting hit. Okay. Well, I know Luigi's gonna get hit. Or he's not. Oh, is it is it the guy down there who has it? Ah, it is, so that's... Okay. So, ne never mind then. Right. We have Rosalina. Power everyone up. Yep. And same old, same old. Once those guys start moving to get into a position to hit us, they are gonna go down with lots. <laughs> They're gonna go down hard. And I'm gonna get that guy out of cover so that he has no choice but to try and move. Yep, we're good. They should go down. You sealed your fate. You sealed your fate. And this guy. I don't even want to begin how his fate is sealed. <laughs> he was the weakest out of them all. But yeah, that's vamp ability here. And it was weird that the glitter spark looked kind of weird with how its light effect was on for a moment there. 
it's kind of strange, like without the little like music notes and sparkly effect going off on it. But yeah, now we're level 21. We got the same. We defeated Boss Fellows Challenge. We got a few upgrades now. And I need to see actually, have we reached the upgrade? Yeah, we have. We can now upgrade our sparks to level 5. So this is what I wanted uh, to save my potions for. Was giving it to them once they reach level f once they were able to reach level five. Yeah, because now there's no way to upgrade them th afterwards. So yeah, let's upgrade Ethering because he's needed an upgrade badly. And again, this upgrade is the most expensive, being 550 star bins. Yeah, you can't get any higher than this. So once they're this strong, they're this strong for the rest of the game. Let me see. Who else can we max up? We can upgrade Splash Dash. I will max upgrade Toxiquake because he's been very helpful throughout our adventure. Uh, who else? I could do a Regenesis, but... Mm. Yeah, I think the main Sparks... I, I couldn't... You know, let's, let's do Vampostra. And Electrogeddon. Because, you know, they're on the way out. There is... So, yeah. That's it. We're now reaching our max strength soon. We'll, we'll be ready to fight Cursa in no time. Now, what is next f to do? We have plenty of time left. If I could... So we got a shortcut means back over here. We could just find the gem to go into this stone. So I, I think if I remember, it's hidden somewhere along this path. And again, we need to look for something that's glowing so that we can shake it and get it. Mm. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, the bush is way down here. <laughs> Shaking is a sword! <laughs> I love his accent so much. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get enough of all the characters. I love their personalities. I, lo I love how the rabbit's personalities are quite different than that of their regular, of like their Mario counterparts. But they still try to act like their Mario counterparts, which was really fun. Okay, so let's see. We have six uh, planet coins, so we need to save up for that key. Um, I will buy some... I'll buy a sh boof boost because I feel like I need those. I'm gonna buy... I think I'll just buy some mushrooms, not a mushroom bag. And... A reset clock. We'll be fine without... One. Oh, so there's a magician there that we need to take after because we're having a bounty hunting quest. So, let me go take care of him real quick. My air punches are so strong, you can't take them down, and boom! One off one guy, and um, one off the other. I'm gonna turn the heater down, it's so hot in here, my gosh. Alright, that's one down. As for the rest of the mission, there's still plenty to do in town. Yeah, so there's a green coin challenge here. There's a darkness puddle over here. Uh, there's another one here, closing the gap. And then there's an, a red coin challenge down here. And yeah, so there's dark puddle. Uh, there's still so much to do. And that's just in this area. As for Spellbound Woods, there's still a butt ton to do here. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do before we can move on. So I, th hmm. so again, we're not gonna end things off yet. And yeah, we're gonna keep going. We just, I just gotta figure out what to do next or what to start with, cause it gets overwhelming pretty quickly. I mean, one thing we could do is, uh, there is like again, I'm um, still like a big story element that is a part of Palette Prime that we could do, that again would help us move around more, cause, yeah, there's a lot of, it's a lot of like 
intricate pathways to get around over here, so it gets pretty difficult pretty fast. If we look down here, we can see there's a guy here that we can't get to, or so it looks. But remember, we... Uh, if I could remember that I need to actually teleport down there. I'll be right... right give me a second. Right, yeah, so I had to go down here and we're gonna take care of this guy real quick. Hold on. The urge to party is so strong, it's worth getting shot for! Oh, I wish I could relate. <laughs> They're still going for it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I never noticed that he has a rain cloud over, Wood Woodrow has a rain cloud over his own house. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> and poor Woodrow, he can't just catch a break. All he wants to do is... I need to push the ladder to get up there. This is not the way over here. Oh my gosh! Alright, I'll be back again. But seriously, poor Woodrow. All right. One thing that's actually interesting here is that across this area back before... There's actually an invisible bridge we can use to take a shortcut to skip fights. I didn't do that before, and I just foolishly r tried to run across him. But yeah, th there's that if you want to avoid that guy. Yeah, there's often small hints that show that there's invisible bridges, like little coins. That's important to know, and the way is blocked. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. Again. Oh, actually, wait a minute. This is, is an important fight. Uh, we have new enemies here. Uh, these guys. Spell Razors. Long-range attacker can summon stooges into the battlefield. They're weak to gust, but resist ooze. Yeah, these guys are summoners. You gotta watch out for them. And with how weirdly strong stooges can hit, you, got, you really do gotta watch out when they spawn, guys, because they can do them pretty quickly. But they can... Spawn him in pretty quickly as he got... Yeah, so, make sure to be packed in your wind abilities there. Yeah, other than that, so... Yeah, so this whole area is a puzzle in which we gotta do... In order to get the block needed to open the door over there. So... Actually, where is this? Oh, actually, no, wait, there isn't! The block is right there behind this guy. I'm gonna see if I can sneak past him. I don't know how he doesn't hear us. I don't know still how he doesn't hear us. Literally, Revan Mario just went, Bah! And he didn't... He didn't see us. It doesn't matter, though. Just... Hey, finally I can do what I need to. We've opened the area... Now we can go to this area, which is actually the pumpkin farm of the rabbits. This is where they make all those deliciously pumpkin-flavored everything that I don't know why people are so hyped about. I mean, I get it. Pumpkin-flavored stuff can be good, but not all the time. Oh, over here, there's a secret. It's telling us to go this way. Walk to the bushes. And use it again. There's an invisible bridge. Which leads to this. A pumpkin head of some sort. I wonder what this could be used for. I think a guy down here knows. I actually do know where it's from. I believe yeah, the guy here, he wanted his scarecrows to have his their heads back. I don't know where he is. Where is he? I, mean, I guess we could put that here for now. Yeah, here he is. This guy just wants his uh, pumpkin heads back. So that's one of them. Someone stole the heads of my scarecrows. I don't even know why. Fix them for me, please. Yeah, sure thing, pal. 
Yeah, there's one behind his house. There is one behind that whole secret area. And the other one, if logic to take, should be in the area to our left right now. So, uh, his scarecrows are also a bit all over the place too, so you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, one of his scarecrows is up here. And you know, let's go down doing this red coin challenge. There's that one. That one. Oh, no, 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 no! Get up, get up! Go this way, come on. Come on. No! Are you kidding me? There we go. Got it. That and the red coin led to where the last scarecrow was. Let me go take my stupid coins and stupid planet coin. God, I hate that so much about that. He gets tripped up so easily and it pisses me off half the time. Alright, as for the last pump, uh, pumpkin head, I believe it's somewhere down here. So if we walk over here, this is the ladder I was trying... I was thinking it was already open, but no, it wasn't even close to open. And this is what I was trying to get to after all this time. As we can see here, there's a guy here who would want to duel with us. He's a spell raiser. And again, he has something behind him that we need. But I'm going to finish this pumpkin quest quick, real quick so that I can get the planet coin from him. I don't know, I don't remember where that last head is actually. So it might take me a moment to find it. Let's see, is it, is this it right here? No, just money. Oh, here it is. It's in this tree. Yep, there it is. Okay, so... Yeah, so one's back there, one's behind... Or one's back in that secret area behind the bridge. One one is behind his house and the other is in a tree. Alright, so now that we got help him get his scarecrows back so that the crows don't need his pumpkins anymore, let's go see what he has to say. No. Oh. He has nothing new to say. Apparently, he still believes that his scarecrows are broken. Well, we tried our best to help him. I mean, at least some magical prize appeared in front of us so that we were handsomely rewarded for it. Oh, look! A secret! Ah, the invisible coins! Inside of the house. Yeah, so we're just robbing this person after we helped them. And we're going to be reading and observing their art without their permission as well. Well, yeah, I mean, poor guy, what, I, why does his poetry cause, like, tragedy? It doesn't really make any sense, but that's, that's awful that that happens to the poor guy. <laughs> okay, his cliched metaphor. Alright, so... Does he, like, constantly write poems about tragedy or something? Well, I think so. Woodrow entered the contest wearing a disguise to prove it wasn't his poetry that caused the disaster. But bad luck. 1,142 cases of bad luck. Aw. Oh, so that's why he wears the costume. <laughs> he, he was just a normal rabbit before, and then he wore the... The costume to try and... Oh, poor guy. He can't do what he loves. What? what? Oh, no. No! One moment. Okay, sorry about that. Apparently, I unplugged the switch. It's okay. Everything's... The recording's still intact. Just sorry about that. All right, now that we helped the person find their pumpkin heads, even though he says we didn't. I don't know why. Now let's go finally take down that spell razor and get that planet coin. And chapoof! We got to dash into him because he's not a boss enemy.
so to speak. He's more of a mini boss enemy. Right, I'm trying to remember what this one. Okay, so it's just a survival stage. Yeah, there's a lot of spell razors down here, so. I'm gonna pair up Rabbit Mario with Peach. And we're gonna pair uh, them up with Bowser as well. And here we go. So let's attract everyone over to his location. Yep. And he's the life of the party, as always. And as for Bowser, we're going to power up his spark or, and power up his bazooka with wind. And all these guys are weak to wind. Oh, no. No, not... Oh, dear. The angle of the... Of the stairway is making it so I can't hit any of them. Yep, that'll do it. Fire! And off with all of ya! Are they all dead? Wow. We got them all. Alright, just gotta wait for enemies to spawn. Oh yeah, here... Yeah, in this one, you don't have portals you can destroy. And because the and because the enemies get their turn after because the enemies get their turn after they spawn from the portal, the if it's a spell razor, it's very likely they'll spawn their stooges first. You know what? I'm gonna spawn Bowser's Mecha Koopas and hopefully distract them. But for now, we're just gonna lay low a bit. Hey, it's a magician. Uh oh. Oh, it got Bowser. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Come on, I... I didn't think that was gonna happen. I really didn't. And Bowser's down! What? They had a clear shot at him! They got a clear shot at Peach? Of course they do. Okay, so it looks like it's nothing but magicians then. And then we'll bounce on Mario up and we'll deal with them all the proper way. Get your, get your sorry asses over here. Yep, dash into them for some damage. And we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna, we'll just punch them. Just get them. He gets rid of their shields at least. And now Peach can finish them off with her ooze spark. Boom, they're dead. Let's apply shield because chances are something bad's gonna happen. I don't know how many turns we need to survive, actually. I think from the looks of it, it was likely five or six turns. Also, that woodpecker pecking on the wood is pretty funny to, when it's fed up. And let's see. Oh, eight turns, and we've been to the four of them. Yeah, let's let's get them out of here. Nope. Nope. And off with all of you. To the corner. I can power it up with shock, but there's no point to because they're immune to shock. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do here, so just end the turn. They're all probably gonna hit Peach somehow. That guy moved. Oh, right, they can all heal each other, I forgot. And now she's exposed. Uh. Another magician. So is it nothing but magicians? It's kind of strange. I guess when they would put like a bunch more spell casters or spell raisers. But I don't know. Let's get rid of those nasty shields. And let's just shotgun them to death. Right, got a good amount of star bits. And that guy is gonna hit Peach or Rabbit Mario. No, he's gonna hit Peach. Hey, pretty easy, pretty easy so far. Yeah, just playing a game of just run away and then shoot when they get close, sort of kind of game. And she can't go anywhere, let's just shield her up. Alright, speed it up. What's here? Yep, more magicians. Hmm. Oh, finally, another spell razor. Actually, this could be dangerous, because again, they can spawn stooges. Hey, ouch. I wonder why it took that long to finally spawn one. Is it going to spawn another? Nope, just a magician. Alright, no, I know what I'm going to do. Let's attract them all over. Yep, it's a wizard party. Oh, jeez. It looks like they're going to sacrifice him. <laughs> It looks like a bunch of cultists ready to sacrifice. He's like, yeah, you think you're gonna sacrifice me? Think of that! <laughs> it's just really funny how they just group up like that and they're all wearing cloaks like that. No, not that spark. Yeah, this spark. And splash them! Yep, and just kill the rest of them. Yep, no sacrificing today. And we're gonna shotgun you to make sure you stay dead. If you can find a way to kill both of us, I would love to see it, and I would be more amazed than ticked off. Oh, but he couldn't. Alright, well done. We killed all those weird cultists, and we got the prize. And we get the planet coin. Yeah, Palette Prime is getting better and better place, hopefully. The one person I would love to help is Woodrow and see how he can help people. So the Wildwood Blade. Nice. Alright. We did quite a bit of stuff around here. We did a lot of the side missions around here, and there's still a butt-ton more to clean up around here. See? We're not even close to done with all the missions here. And there's still plenty of stuff to do in Spellbound Woods. And there's even more to do down in the well. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff still to do here. And I'm going to do my best to make sure it's all done before we move on to the next planet. Plus, we kind of did most of everything after we just got here. So next time on Mario Rabbit's The Sparks of Hope, we're going to be doing more side missions around Pallet Prime and seeing if we can do the best we can to help everybody. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Palladville is the cultural and economic heart of the planet, as residents are quick to remind everyone else. It is also a petri dish of gossip, petty jealousies, and schemes. Still, the village market more than upholds its reputation for artisan desserts and pumpkin-spiced beverages. Is it prosperity that breeds the self-serving behavior here? Or fame, perhaps? And if so, is it inevitable?